guys welcome or welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome to my channel i was literally about to say welcome back to another weekly vlog trying to get used to you know making other videos other content and stuff like that if you're new here thank you for watching this video yeah i know you're gonna love it over here so make sure you subscribe to the channel um comment introduce yourself say i'm new make sure you like and share with a friend or two so guys i am actually in the comfort of my own space chill and i decided to do a little q a for you guys it's more so like a life update how long have i been doing youtube like probably two years or something like that almost three or something i don't i really don't remember but a lot has changed since starting i would have done a q a early up when i just started but now like i said new updates new changes more mature you know there's so much growth in everything so i'm just gonna go into this very quick q a and um yeah stay tuned so i've actually categorized my questions some of some of them are personal um some is about social media and productivity so i wanted to do it in that way just so you guys can have a feel of me what i'm working towards what's the current situation right now and um the reason why i'm on this platform anyway um so the first question is what's your actual name so on youtube on social media i'm known as b Bay, people call me all kind of things, B-E-Y. My actual name is Bianca, okay? So, if you would have known from before, I usually would come on and say, my name is Bianca, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my name is Bianca, but I'm also known as Bay, B. The next question is, where were you born and raised? So actually, I was born in Antigua, and we migrated when I was either two or three to Montserrat, and I basically, raised up there i left Montserrat in 2019 i'm now living in the uk the next question is what year were you born i'm not gonna say that i'm a 90s baby okay so i'm a 90s baby i was born in the 90s the next question is how many siblings do you have i have one two three four five six siblings i'm really meant to be saying seven because one is my sister but she's not really my sister you know so i don't know if i should say six or seven can't decide but so realistically it's six but from my perspective it's seven the next question is what's your favorite thing to do um my favorite thing to do i like to chill you know like i like to have a shower, have a drink, sit down and just chill. I think that's my favorite thing to do. Is that a thing? Like, should I say that's a thing? Or should it be more so of something physical or like singing and dancing and stuff? Any talents? You know, I'm a very talented girl, you know. Some people actually won't believe me, but I feel like I'm a talented girl. I like to dance. I love to choreograph. I love shopping. I love to dress up actually think i'm pretty dope at singing but some people are not gonna agree you know i love to do makeup the next question is what social platforms do you use so i'm currently on youtube i'm currently on instagram and tiktok i use facebook but facebook is more so personal um i'm not yet well i don't have a platform like surrounded around bc on Facebook, it's just my personal Facebook. I feel like everybody has a Facebook account. Um, which is your favorite social media platform? This is a very good question. Um, it depends. I would say it depends because like TikTok is rather entertaining, like you know when you keep scrolling through. But I've um, if I'm answering in the context of like for entertainment, I'd probably say TikTok. Because TikTok is rather entertaining. Like, there's different things that you can view on TikTok. Man, it kind of tight, you know, I'm not lie. But I think I love Instagram the most. I think I love, I actually love all three of them, you know. I think I'm contradicting myself, I don't know. But, um, I'll say Instagram. But in terms of, like, entertainment, I would more so say TikTok. But I also spend a lot of time on YouTube. Oh contradicting myself you guys get the idea what's your niche um so currently my niche is beauty and lifestyle vlogs let's just say that so lifestyle consists of like travel um what i get up to on a daily 
you know stuff like that and beauty is like my hauls um, makeup anything fashion wise I'm all for it so that's what I tend to do over here on my channel what equipment do you use so I have a hold on let me ask Roland I have a camera a Sony ZV-1F I use it majority of my videos sometimes it depends um, I use my phone this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max I guess it depends like if I forgot my my camera I use it well depends on different settings because some places won't allow you to record so it's easier much easier to just record on your phone so those are the two equipments that I mainly use sometimes I use Roland's camera too apart from that we use a ring light have a big ring light I also use it for my makeup as well so it kind of you know go go hand in hand and then we have a tripod tripod to put the cameras on so you're currently on a tripod right now um what else do i use you have a macbook ear that's what we use for editing so this is another question what do you use to edit so at the moment we're using imovie to edit as the time progresses we will you know eventually go over to final cut but right now iMovie is working for us so that's what we use to edit but I guess it depends on what I'm editing as well like in terms of pictures I use PixArt and Airbrush those are two good apps that I use for like my pictures and stuff like that uh, and that's it these ones seem to be more longer <laughs> it says what are your long time goals not long time goals long term goals sorry I keep saying that I don't see myself working for anyone so I would say that's my end goal, like to be my own boss. I'm not sure exactly what field I'm going to take, like I'm still exploring life, still finding new interests every day. Um, but for right now, it's all about social media, you know, being an influencer. That's what I think at the moment. How do you remain productive? This is not th something that I am, I must say, like I'm not really productive at the moment. I'm trying and I feel like it starts first with creating a routine like you have to plan out your day and you know keep into that routine and remaining consistent so that's my advice when it comes to productivity I know what I have to do but sometimes you know how life is like you know they I heard someone say before that the road to success is not a straight one like it's curvy you know I have to go through the bumps everything I just have to do everything that I'm saying to you guys and yeah, let me know as well if you guys feel the same. You know, every day is not a sunny day. What would you change about yourself now? I think I'm kind of laid back at the moment and I need to push myself. And that comes again with consistency, like remaining consistent. Because like nothing is ever handed to you in life, like you have to work for it. So that's something that I would definitely change about myself. It's something I'm working towards as you guys can see. Okay. But yeah. What keeps you going? Faith. For me, faith. I'm not going to say I'm a religious person. I'm more so a spiritual person. I have a very strong connection with God. I believe that there's a God and I have faith in whatever, you know? Like I try to, you know, just keep the faith with everything. Like try to think of everything positively. Like that. that's what keeps me going. Like knowing that what I'm going through or whatever I'm going through now or whatever my situation is now, whatever my life situation is, it's just temporary. It's just temporary. What is something you do daily to keep you positive? I pray. I pray every single day. Sometimes I forget on the weekends, but I pray. Like on my way to work, that's something I do on a daily. Like I never forget to pray. Prayer keeps me going. I ask God for like, to, you know, I start off my mind thinking that, you know what, Bianca, you have to be positive today. And I just pray that God just, you know, remind me when I'm feeling like I'm about to be negative or like I encounter a negative situation to always remain positive. The next question is, do you want to blow up? Of course, of course, absolutely. I want to blow up. But then again, it comes with your worth ethic, um, being consistent and everything that I said before. I want to blow up on everything, actually. I, I don't mean to be greedy, but I'd love to blow up on everything. Blowing up from a small country will be such an accomplishment. So, I feel it coming, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, I'm just remaining positive. But it comes with hard work. Are you doing social media for fun? or as a potential job? I would say it's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. 
because I genuinely enjoy creating content, posting pictures, and just being that girl, you know? I genuinely enjoy being that girl. That's why I need to call myself that girl. But then at the same time, I can see myself growing on the platform and being able to use this opportunity to be my own boss. You get it? So everything kind of works hand in hand. So fingers crossed, everything falls into place. So those are the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to DM me. Follow me on my socials. I'll attach them somewhere on the screen. And um, yeah, comment down, down below as well. Like if anything resonates with you, your personal experiences, like maybe how to cope. Maybe you can give me tips as well on how to cope with my work ethic and you know, pushing myself to that limit. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, like I said, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new, you already watch all of this. You already reached to the end, so you might as well just stay. So make sure you subscribe, guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.